Welcome back at Shutdown Festival. Today I'm joined by DJ Spit Noise. Thanks for taking the time. Yeah, you're welcome. So we already saw your set and it was amazing, of course. But what I always wanted to ask you, out of all the subgenres, how did you get to uptempo? Uh, when I started with uptempo, it wasn't called uptempo yet. You had only Boss Eraser was doing the faster mainstream hardcore, but it was there wasn't any uptempo genre at that moment. So yeah, I was totally sold with the faster sound, with the faster kicks, with the harder kicks. So uh, yeah, from the first moment, I loved it. <laughs> Wonderful. By now, you have played all major festivals. You had your spotlight this year. But what throughout your career was your made it moment where you were like, OK, now this works? Oh, I've got a few moments. Uh, the spotlight was a big highlight of my career, of course. Uh, also dominate the main stage, Master Falco main stage, where Supremacy main stage was yeah, it's such a big highlight. So um, I've got a few moments, but yeah, I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but also, we know you're a family father. How do you manage to like balance touring and time with your family? Sometimes it's hard, especially in the weekends. Uh, you go home at six o'clock and the kids are already awake. But um, yeah, it's it's good to manage. During the weeks, I take the Monday and Tuesday, I take some time off to take time with the family. And uh, the other days, we're working in the studio. And in the weekends, we are doing the festivals. For us, thank you so much. <laughs> so we can enjoy your music. Yeah. So we all know a very viral meme at the moment. Have you considered making like a life act called Twak Twa because this is literally the spit noise? Yeah, yeah. Some people told me to do it, but uh, maybe it's too obvious to do it. So that's why I decided to do it not, you know, and uh, a lot of people were before me. I, I saw the video like one week after releasing it, you know, so I already was late. So uh, that's why I decided to not do it. Yeah. And well, you are the original spit noise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's copying me. Yes, definitely. Yeah, yeah. 2024 is still going. We're in the middle of festival season. But what does 2024 still have in store for you? Any project you're working on? I've got a new collab with Rejecta, the Rothschild DJ. So it's going to be a banger. So we release it uh, at the end of this month. So uh, we're going to play it at Decibel for the second time. Uh, we premiered it at DEF CON mm -hmm. and it's doing really great. Uh, I've got a new collab with Deadly Guns too. Mm -hmm. So that's also a banger. And uh, I'm working on my album. It will be released the end of November. So uh, a lot of collabs, a lot of new music, uh, some cool remixes by Bob uh, Talkman. He's a new guy in the scene, but uh, yeah, it's going to be an album uh, full of new uptempo artists, uh, big names in the scene already. So yeah. Well, that's exciting news. Thanks for sharing that with us. <laughs> Do you have any tips or suggestions for people that are new in the scene, DJs, producers that are trying to make it? Try to make your own sound because nowadays a lot of artists try to copy something or to try something what another artist is already doing. But I think it's, it's better to make your own sound and then go further with that and uh, yeah, improve it. <laughs> Thank you so much. And I mean, you are Dutch, you are in hot crop tempo. Do you hug? I do hug, but um. Yeah, not that good. <laughs> I'm not that uh, party type of guy, you know. Um, I prefer to be on stage mm -hmm. um, and after the set backstage. And also, I love to join the crowd. But I'm more like listening to the music. And that's my party type, you know. Not not really the hug thing. So you make music so we can hug. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. I make the music and you can hug. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you.